A Target 12 analysis of Rhode Island State health data shows nearly 600 COVID infections among students and school staff since the school year began on August 29th. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us live from Johnston, where state leaders addressed testing and student vaccinations here a short time ago. Alexandra? Well, we've heard from parents in multiple school districts recently that test results are taking longer than usual to get back. As we reported yesterday, positive cases in the, just the first few days of school have already caused some disruptions. Johnson School Superintendent Dr. Bernard DeLulo says there have been low numbers of cases in school so far, with the exception of one. Um, generally, the, the numbers have been running about four to six in each of our schools. We had a high number at our Windsor Hill School. That was a 13. Windsor Hill Elementary is just a fraction of new school cases within the state this week. A Target 12 analysis of infections reported between August 29th and Saturday. Data from the Rhode Island Department of Health shows 515 students and 75 school staff members tested positive for the virus. At least 295 students and 70 educators were infected after school started, with the rest testing positive before starting school. With hundreds of cases also comes hundreds of tests, but parents tell 12 News the turnaround time for results has been too slow. I asked the Department of Health director why. One of the things that happened is the uh, rapid rise of uh, cases. We've had the capacity the entire time to expand as we need to, and that's occurring. Dr. Nicole Alexander Scott claims the current testing turnaround time is 24 to 48 hours. Our goal has been throughout this pandemic response to get it around that 24 hour mark to the best of our ability. And Governor McKee also acknowledged that there have been glitches in the start of the school year, but he maintains that the state is a leader in testing as well as vaccinations. Coming up new at 6, I'll explain the recent push to get student athletes the shot. Live in Johnston, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. I'm the incumbent governor says he remains focused on getting as many people vaccinated as possible. At this afternoon's briefing, Governor Dan McKee said 86% of adults are at least partially vaccinated and 66% are fully vaccinated. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us now live from Johnston High School, where student athletes were the focus this afternoon. Alex. Well, Mike, today's briefing was not only the site of the governor's podium, but it was also the site of a student vaccine clinic and a girls soccer game where one of the student athletes in the district talked about why her friends should get the vaccine. I do not want to miss one more game because of COVID. Before her fellow student athletes, Johnson Senior High School senior Emily talked about how the pandemic took away so many things they can never get back from proms and homecoming to entire sports seasons. My teammates and I want to be able to create some great memories before we graduate from high school. If we are to have any chance of things getting back to normal, it is so important that as many people as possible get their COVID vaccinations. That was the message throughout this afternoon's COVID briefing. On the very field, many games were canceled last year. Rhode Island Interscholastic League's executive director says after those disruptions, they're happy to have a full slate of activities this fall, but noted there have been some interruptions. The difference this year is that kids are vaccinated. State leaders said with high school students making up a large portion of the state's population, doing their part by getting the shot will help stop the spread of the virus. You can be an MVP by getting a VAX. Now, as we mentioned, today's briefing took place alongside a COVID vaccine clinic. The governor said the first 50 participants in that clinic could receive a $5 gift card if they got the shot. Live in Johnston, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.